In mathematics, a topological space is said to be sigma compact if it is the union of countably many compact subspaces. A space is said to be sigma locally compact if it is both sigma compact and locally compact. Topic: <laughs> Properties and examples. Every compact space is sigma compact and every sigma compact space is Lindelof i.e. every open cover has a countable subcover. The reverse implications do not hold. For example, standard Euclidean space Rn is sigma compact but not compact and the lower limit topology on the real line is Lindelof but not sigma compact. In fact, the countable complement topology is Lindelof but neither sigma compact nor locally compact. A Hausdorff bare space that is also sigma compact must be locally compact at at least one point. If G is a topological group and G is locally compact at one point, then G is locally compact everywhere. Therefore, the previous property tells us that if G is a sigma compact Hausdorff topological group that is also a bare space, then G is locally compact. This shows that for Hausdorff topological groups that are also bare spaces, sigma compactness implies local compactness. The previous property implies for instance that R omega is not sigma compact. If it were sigma compact, it would necessarily be locally compact since R omega is a topological group that is also a bare space. Every hemicompact space is sigma compact. The converse, however, is not true. For example, the space of rationals with the usual topology is sigma compact but not hemicompact. The product of a finite number of sigma compact spaces is sigma compact. However, the product of an infinite number of sigma compact spaces may fail to be sigma compact. A sigma compact space X is second category resp Bare if and only if the set of points at which is x is locally compact is non-empty rest dense in x topic see also exhaustion by compact sets lindelof space equals equals notes <laughs>